Well, hello and welcome to uh, this in my series of Midpoint Theorem, Coordinate Geometry and Analytical Proof, uh, IGCSC Additional Mathematics and AS Level Stat uh, question. And here we go. I'm going to paraphrase. Now, we're given a line APB such that uh, the point A has got coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, the point P x, y, and the point B, x sub 2, y sub 2. Now, the ratio of AP to PB is n to m. And we are supposed to show or to find the x coordinate of P in terms of x sub 1, x sub 2, and N and M. Similarly, we're supposed to find uh, the y coordinate of P in terms of y sub 1, y sub 2, N and M. Now, this is not unlike uh, what we already know. For instance, if P is at the midpoint of the line APB, then the x coordinate of P is going to be x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and the y coordinate is going to be um, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. But in this case, we've got the ratio um, of AP to BP in terms of N and M. We don't know what N and M could be. It could be 2, it could be 3, it could be 4, it could be 5, it could be 1, it could be 100. We don't know what it is. So we try to find the x coordinate and the y coordinate of p in terms of n, m, x sub 1, and x sub 2, and so on. Now, what I've done is to um, copy this back in here. Um, I've, I've copied this from there to there. And you can see I've shown the projection of the line APP onto the x-axis and also the projection of the line APB onto the y-axis. So <laughs> yeah, there I should have um, y sub 1. Sorry about that. So what I've now created, I've now created two trapezia. One trapezium there. Sorry, one trapezium there and another trapezium there. Now you can see that both uh, Trapezia are similar because we've got a um, ax1 is perpendicular to the, y, to the x axis and px1 or px is also perpendicular to the y axis to the x axis and b x sub 2 is also perpendicular to the x axis and they all share a common line so to speak so the two triangles are, sorry, not two, the two trapezia are similar. So that being the case, we can now say that the ratio of x minus x sub 1 to x sub 2 minus x is the same as the ratio of n To M. Now we cannot do some fractions now. If we then say that x minus x of 1 divided by x of 2 minus x is equal to n over M. If we then cross multiply, we then have that M into x minus x of 1 is equal to n into x of 2 minus x. If we then open up the brackets on both sides, we end up with uh, mx minus mx of 1 is equal to n into nx of 2 minus nx. If we then take nx to the left hand side and bring it m sub 1 to the right hand side, 
we end up with fx plus nx is equal to nx sub 2 plus mx sub 1. Now don't forget that when n when minus when minus nx goes across to the left hand side, the sign will change. And when minus mx sub 1 goes across to the left hand side, the sign will also change. So we end up with fx plus nx is equal to nx sub 2 plus mx sub 1. If we now factorize the left hand side, we end up with x into m plus n is equal to nx sub 2 plus mx sub 1. If we now divide both sides by m plus n, we end up with x is equal to nx sub 2 plus mx sub 1 divided by m plus n. Now, this is correct because you can check. We already know that if the ratio m to m is 1 to 1, in other words, if p is at the midpoint of the line APB, then the value of x is going to be 1 times x sub 2, which is x sub 2, plus 1 times x sub 1, which is x sub 1. So we then have x sub 2 plus x sub 1 divided by m plus n, and m plus n is 2. So in, if, in other words, if p is at the, is at the midpoint of APB, then x is going to be x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. So this is right. Now, similarly, for the y-axis, for the sorry, for the y-coordinate of the point P, we can say that y is equal to n y sub 2 plus m y sub 1 divided by m plus n. Now, I hope all that made some sense, and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye now.